The attacks happened last night and this morning in the Kharkiv region. Ukrainian officials say Russian missile strikes killed at least 17 people. The attacks pulverized residential homes and destroyed a dormitory for the deaf. Ukrainian officials say they're concerned the deaf victims just weren't aware of the wailing air raid sirens, warning of the incoming missile strikes. Meantime, our sister network Sky News is reporting that a series of explosions hit another Russian air base in the Crimean Peninsula today. A Russian official claims the blast didn't hurt anybody. Ukrainian officials haven't taken responsibility for the attack. Russia annexed Crimea back in 2014. The explosions come as leaders met with Ukrainian President Zelensky today. They discussed the shelling at Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine. Local coverage now from Sky News and their reporter Alistair Bunkel in Odessa, Ukraine. The fate of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is becoming increasingly urgent. This video, posted on social media today, appears to show Russian military vehicles inside the plant. The U.S. government accuses Russia of using it as a nuclear shield. A full-on reactor explosion is said to be unlikely, but a radiation leak could happen if the fighting continues around it. Russia, which occupies the plant, has reportedly told workers not to go to the site tomorrow and delivered this ominous warning. On August 19th, Kiev's regime is preparing a resonant provocation at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant during the General Secretary Antonio Guterres's visit to Ukraine, as a result of which Russia will be accused of creating a man-made catastrophe at this power plant. The Zaporizhia power plant is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. It sits on the banks of the Dnipro River and is currently at the centre of the southern front lines. Ukraine blames Russia for recent attacks on the power plant and wants the site to become a demilitarised zone. The UN Secretary General, who met President Zelensky in Ukraine today, supports that proposal. The Turkish President, Tayyip Recep Erdogan, was also in Ukraine today. He met President Zelensky face to face for the first time since the war started. Russia must immediately and without conditions withdraw its troops from the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant's territory and stop all provocations, and certainly all shelling. We can't allow Russia to deliberately put us all on the edge of a radiation catastrophe. Turkey successfully brokered the grain deal between Russia and Ukraine, and Erdogan has met Vladimir Putin twice in recent weeks. He seems to have the ear of the Russian president. It's not clear whether Erdogan was carrying a message from Putin or if his comments in Ukraine today represent the current mindset of the Russian leader. But the very talk of a peace deal, on the face of it, sounds encouraging. The Ukrainian government has been adamant it will not accept anything less than a full withdrawal of Russian forces from all of the country. At this moment in time, it's hard to see Russia agreeing to that. Alice Bungle Sky News in southern Ukraine.